<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is Thursday's Stash It or Trash It. Now we're going to be speaking about the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume. Now um, I've used this several times. Now I got mine in the color black. I didn't see any other colors. It's the only color that I saw and I would get black mascara or something. But um, now the it has two different sides. So the first side is an extreme volume base coat, and this is how the brush looks. Okay, and the second side is an intensifying top coat, and this is how the brush looks. Okay. Now I'm actually wearing this mascara now and as everyone can see my eyelashes are not bombshell. They don't look like a bombshell and they do not have bombshell volume. So for this week I think this would definitely be a trash it. My own personal opinion is when I buy a mascara, I especially if it says bombshell volume, I need it to be the bomb. I need to look like I have fake lashes and everything but it did not do anything for me even though I didn't say it would make you look like you have fake lashes I still expected that and it's that bombshell volume so why wouldn't I expect that but no it was not um I actually got this product from CVS and it retails at um it retails at $11.99 now CVS has care bucks and with the care bucks I had five dollars off and I also had a manufacturer's coupon for $3, which actually made um, this product $3.99 plus taxes, which came out to about 4 and change. Um, which personally for me isn't bad for a CoverGirl mascara. Um, I would not pay, again, $4 for this if I had the opportunity, and I would no way in hell pay $11.99 for this mascara. It just didn't do anything for me. Um, I'm going to post pictures of um, the way my eyelashes look normally without any mascara. And then with just number one and then with one and two. Um, one of the main reasons why I didn't really like the mascara was actually the brushes. On the number one side, um, you can see the bristles on this. Um, it has bristles on the inner side of the mascara wand, but on the outer side of the mascara wand, it doesn't really have any. So if I were to be applying this, I would be applying it like this, okay? Which means that my inner eyelashes wouldn't get any product, and I would so not be happy with that. And when I was putting it on, that was actually one of the issues I had. I had to like mess around with the wand just so that I can use the inner part of the wand and not the outer it's supposed to be convenient but it's not it's not a great wand at all now the second wand it wasn't bad at all it was just like a normal mascara wand it did its job but it didn't wow me at all so um yes do not invest in this i mean you can if you like um if you have tried it i would love to know your impression of um this product because it did nothing for me but if it did something for you maybe i'm not using it correctly or i don't know i mean i've used different type of mascaras and i mean how hard is it to use a mascara once it's just not great it really isn't okay so um i'm gonna be listing everything that i have on down below um if you have any requests please leave me a comment again down below and i'll be sure to get to it and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.